Skilled artists and eager observers filled Rock Hill's Center for the Arts as competitive portrait drawing was held. Contestants were pitted against one another in a tournament style similar to that of a sports tournament. Opposing artists who competed against each other drew the same model and allowed the model that was being drawn to choose a winner between the two artists. Models could then buy the self-portrait from the artist if they felt inclined. Bradley Sabelli spoke about the experience he had while modeling. This was his third time being a model. I thought it would be behoove me to be a model. This is the third time for me now. Um, and uh, <clears throat> as a university professor in this area, I get to make an academic choice, but also an aesthetic choice. Sabelli also made note of the fierce competition that was present. And truly, this is what I would call a artistic spectator sport, a gladiatorial contest between the artists, and they're in the pit, and the, all the Romans are around. Nathan Andrews, known simply as the host, spoke a little bit about his character presentation. So I was born in 1918, and I've uh, attended many prestigious universities, far much more prestigious than, you were from Winthrop, I believe. That is nothing in comparison to where I have studied it. Andrew spoke with us a little bit about his character presentation. His main goal with the character was to convey that of a pretentious art critic who was a huge know-it-all. So uh, with this long uh, resume, the Arts Council asked if I would host this event, and I graciously accepted. Um, they had me host this event two years ago, and for some reason they thought it would be a wonderful idea to uh, ask me to return. Lori Robichaud, the new executive director for the Center of the Arts in Rock Hill, was excited about the event and told us that she hopes art can become a forefront of the city moving forward. I'm very new to the Arts Council of York County. This is my fifth day on the job. I just moved here from Connecticut last week. I'm very excited to be in this growing city, county. Robichaud says that events like this will continue into the foreseeable future. Um, the arts and culture have been strong here. We need to make them stronger so that we keep up with football and sports and all the other awesome things going on in this area. So this is part of Art Party tonight. The Arts Council is pleased to be a part of it. We look forward to more good times. I'm Jacob Cullum for the Palmetto Report.